Hi, everybody. My name is Brian Moore, and I'm a senior data visualization and analytics consultant with Clear Intelligence. And this is part one of a four part series on building better dashboards through interactivity. Our focus today is going to be on using parameter actions to filter our dashboard. And I'm going to share some other tips and tricks along the way. If you check the notes below the video, you'll find links to a copy of this dashboard on Tableau Public that you can download and follow along as well as a link to a blog post that outlines what we're going to cover today step by step. Uh, so we'll start with a quick demo of what we're going to be covering. So when I click on one of these regions or subcategories, you'll see that the entire dashboard filters to that selection. So when I click on the West region, you see everything filters to the West. You can also click on one of the subcategories to filter as well. Uh, so using actions to filter your dashboard not only looks much nicer than quick filters, but it's better for performance and provides just a generally much more satisfying user experience. Uh, so there are several methods you can use for doing this. You can use filter actions, parameter actions, set actions. I tend to use either parameters or sets because they give you a little bit more flexibility in how you can reference and use those selected values. And the deciding factor between the parameters or sets is usually whether I want to be able to select a single value, in which case I would use a parameter, or if I want to be able to select multiple values, in which case I would use a set. Now you'll also notice that when I click on one of these marks, um, we don't get that weird kind of default highlighting that happens automatically in Tableau. Instead, the marks just kind of fade into the background on all the unselected marks. And I will show you how to do that as well. All right, so here's how we're going to do it. First, we're going to go to our region worksheet. I'm going to create a parameter for the region. We'll just call this region PAR for parameter. This is just going to be a string parameter, and we're going to set our current value to all. OK, click OK. Uh, then we're going to create a calculated field for our filter. So I have a calculated field called region selected. This is just saying if that region parameter is set to all, then um, display all regions within the dashboard. Or if that region parameter is set to a specific region, just display that region. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is go to one of the worksheets that I want to filter. So we'll start with our subcategory worksheet here. I'm going to drag that region selected field onto the filter shelf, which I've already done. I'm going to filter on just true. And then I'm going to right click, go to apply to worksheets, selected worksheets, and I'm going to select all of the worksheets that I want to apply that, that filter to which is pretty much all of them except this, uh, except the uh, region worksheet that's driving the action. Okay, so now we have our filter in place. The next thing we wanna do is create our parameter action. I'm gonna go to dashboard, actions, going to add an action. It's gonna change the parameter. Oh. I'm on the wrong dashboard here. Let's go. So we we'll go to dashboard actions. We're going to add an action. We're going to change a parameter. Uh, so in dashboard actions, unfortunately, there's no way to just select or deselect all of the worksheets. But what you can do is, if you click on the top one, hold Shift, and click on the last one you can bulk deselect them and then just click off to clear the, uh, the bulk selection. Uh, so now I want to select just the worksheet that's going to drive the parameter action, which is going to be this tip one metric by region worksheet. The target parameter, the parameter that we want to update is that region parameter. And we want to pass the region field to that parameter. Want to run the action on select, so when we click on a mark, and no aggregation. All right, so now when we click on a region, you see that the entire dashboard will filter to that specific region. 
Uh, but there are a couple of issues here. So first we have that weird default highlighting that happens in Tableau. Uh, it's not terribly noticeable in this dashboard because it kind of fits with the color scheme, but that's usually not the case. And look what happens when I click on this mark again. So now that filter is still applied, all of these other worksheets are filtered to the east region, but you can't tell that a filter is applied. It doesn't look like anything is selected, which can cause a lot of confusion. Uh, with parameters, parameter actions, unlike filter actions or set actions, you can't just click again to kind of remove the filter or deselect it, but there is a way to accomplish something similar with another calculation. So I'm going to go back to my worksheet. I'm going to create another calculated field, and this is going to be called region remove. And this is just saying, if the region that we click on is the region that's already selected, then set our parameter back to that default all value. Otherwise, pass the, the region that we select to the parameter. I'm going to drag that to detail. Go back to my dashboard. I'm gonna edit my dashboard action. And here, instead of passing that region field to the parameter, we wanna pass that region remove field. And I'm gonna hit okay. So now we can click once to filter the dashboard. And then we can click again to remove that filter. All right, and then uh, the next thing we wanna do is get rid of that default highlighting. So when we click on one of these marks, we want to get rid of these kind of gray washed out marks. So we're going to go back to our worksheet. We're going to create a calculated field. I usually just call it HL for highlight. And this is just going to be a blank calculation. Um, literally, you can use anything in here. It just has to be the same for all of the rows. So I could change this to I love Tableau, and it'll still work just the same. I'm going to drag that to detail. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I'm going to add a highlight action. So click Add Action, Highlight. First, I want to deselect all of the marks. Now I want to select the worksheet that I want to drive that highlight action, which is going to be my metric by region worksheet. And then I'm going to select that same worksheet as the target worksheet. I want to run this action on select. And under target highlighting, I'm going to click selected fields and I'm going to select just that highlight field. Now what this does is it basically tricks Tableau into highlighting every mark instead of just the selected marks. Uh, so now we're pretty close. Um, the only problem here is it's still kind of difficult to tell what mark is selected. So we're able to filter, we're able to clear that filter, but you still can't really tell what mark is selected other than this thin black band around the bar. Uh, so we're going to use color to address that. So I'm going to go back to my worksheet. I'm going to grab my region selected field that I had built earlier. And I'm just going to drag that to color. For the true value, I'm going to set to whatever my base color was, which was this blue. And for the false color, I'm going to set the same as the background of the dashboard. Uh, to get that color, I had just taken a screenshot and brought it into PowerPoint and used the color selection tool to get the color code. And then you can double click on the color here, double click again, and you can enter that code directly into there to, to do a custom color. Now, if I go back to my dashboard, you see when you click on a mark, that one will retain its blue formatting, all of the other ones will kind of fade into the background other than the outline that's still there for comparison. And then you can click on those marks again to deselect it. So that's all for today, but tune in next week for part two of the series where we'll be talking about how you can use bands as KPI selectors to create really flexible, really powerful dashboards. All right, thank you.